This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, 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 this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. <sighs> when I tell y'all my spirit feels so renewed right now, I got a testimony. So, I worked Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. My job usually pays me right after my shift. I have forgot to clock out. Um... Oh, well, I clock in and out through an app on my phone. And I have forgot to clock out on Saturday night. And I clocked out when I was on the highway headed home. As a result, the app said that it couldn't, that my location it had something to do with not being at a location at a certain time because I was on the highway and I forgot to clock out. Long story short, it delayed my payment. So where I would have got paid on a Sunday morning, I didn't get paid till yesterday afternoon. So that's Saturday. Sunday... Okay, let me try to explain this. There are two options on how you submit a timesheet in order to get paid. Well, I was submitting a duplicate of Saturday's timesheet, but it register with Sunday's shift, which again, delayed me getting paid. Now I worked last night. I got paid for that shift within an hour of me clocking out. Yet I still did not get paid for Sunday shift, okay? Let me tell you about me. I don't play when it comes to my livelihood. Because I've been homeless. That was like my worst nightmare. So if I get the slightest threat to being homeless... Or my livelihood being threatened. We have a whole fucking problem. You understand? Tell you things I don't play about. Me. My babies. My animals. My plants. And my fucking money. I am the breadwinner. I am the sole provider. There is no child support. There is no government assistance. Well, they are giving out those little stimulus payments, but what the fuck? Phone bill money. But anyway, <laughs> point is, my family relies on me to keep the ship running. So when my money is compromised... Oh, we have a fucking problem. 
I don't tend to run away from challenges. I tend to challenge the challenge. You understand? Especially when it comes to my livelihood. I don't play about my livelihood. So, I've been on the phone. I've been sending emails. I've been on the app. Submitting inquiries. Telling them exactly what happened step by step. What the issue was. And I've been dealing with very nonchalant customer service representatives, which adds fuel to the fire for me. Don't play with my money. Do not fucking play with my money. So here's the deal. I've been blowing a phone the fuck up. And I finally crossed this one representative. And um, just from her voice, I'm assuming that she's a black woman. She damn sure sound black. I didn't see her face, but I think she's black. And sometimes it take a sister to check another sister. And I got checked. And I needed to get checked. And she checked me. In a nice, most professional way. And I humbled myself. Me. I humbled myself. <laughs> Woo child. Anyway, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I got a little snippy with her. She asked me for the, my first name spelling and uh, I, I told her. I spelled it out real slow. Because at this point, I was pissed the fuck off because I done talked to numerous representatives, sent countless fucking emails, and getting nonchalant responses or projection. And that shit don't sit well with me. So I was on edge. But that woman, I mean, I'm not going to get into the whole gist of our conversation, but what she did was she really took the time to break down and explain to me what was going on. She didn't just tell me what I already knew. She actually took the time to break down and explain to me what was going on. And then she even held get mm, she even held my job accountable for their mishaps for fixing their quirks. Okay, so that opened me up to her because it's like, you know what, sis, I'm very big on communication and you did that well and you, she was professional. She ain't like, I know black women. I'm a black woman. I, we, uh, huh, we could come, boy. Now we can be very professional. Okay, but we can also get hood too. It all depends on your approach. But instead of her being upset by my approach, she basically calmed me down like Lama Dama, like girl. And this is what she told me. Like homegirl preached a whole sermon. First and foremost, my ancestors spoke to me this week, my spiritual court. They tend to have conversations with me when I'm driving home and shit. It don't matter any time of the day. But the point is... That was like V, Veronica. Why, like, you know, why don't you allow us to show and prove in your life? We know you ain't got no, what, what's the word, Um, like a crew. You ain't got no squadron, no support system. But we are your support system. And though you can't see us, we are here to support you. And I understand. And this this what they saying to me. I understand that you've been doing a lot of shit on your own for a very long time. But can you allow us 
to be a part of your life? Can you allow us to show and prove in your life? Can you allow us to basically fight on your behalf, to represent you, to advocate on your behalf? This is what the ancestors were saying to me, right? My spiritual court. So I'm like, you know what? You're right. And that's kind of when you used to doing everything like, yo, I'm, I've am i been the brain, the, the, the captain of the ship. I've been a boss. It's like running a whole company by myself. So I got to be it's logistics, payroll, all that shit. You know, all this is me. And then like, Just learning to trust the process is something I need to learn how to do. Trust the process. I ain't got no patience, y'all. I ain't got no patience. Especially when it comes to my money, man. I have plans. I'm a planner. I plan out my day. I know how my day going to go out. All of that shit. I know how much money I'm going to spend. I know where I'm going to spend it at. But when my shit get delayed, you fucking up my whole plan type shit. And that shit be putting me on edge and having me real defensive. But they like, calm down. The lady, she was like, baby. Because I ain't going to lie. I opened up to her and told her, you know, why I needed the money and all of that shit. And she said, you know. You got to learn to be patient. And she told me that an old man told her, slow and steady, baby, slow and steady. So sometimes when things don't seem to be working, this is what she's saying to me, right? Sometimes things ain't working in your way or in a, in a timely way that you want it to. Maybe there's something that you don't see that is it's probably for my own protection. So I got to be patient. This is what she was saying to me. And she was right. And it resonated with my spirit. I thank her. Because I don't be patient. It ain't like I'm broke. But I want all my motherfucking money. I like looking at my accounts. You know what I'm saying? Just give me some peace of mind knowing I'm straight. But I want all my motherfucking money. But I'm going to be patient. And my money is coming today. Ain't no need for me to fight. I done graduated from all that shit. Just let the shit come to me. So, I share this because it might be somebody that's going through the same exact thing that I'm going through. And somebody need to hear this word just like I needed to hear that word. So God bless y'all. And patience is truly a virtue. Sometimes it's hard, but it is obtainable. Peace and blessings, y'all.